Hi, welcome to Marin's investment vlog post number one. We're here in my bedroom because we're all quarantined because of the global pandemic going on. Um, but let's talk about stocks. For my second period personal finance class, we had a project where we had to invest in a fake stock market. This stock market mirrors the real market. We all started with 10,000 fake dollar bills. With those $10,000, we all invested in at least 15 stocks and five mutual funds or ETFs. Now we have to look back and see how well our stocks have done in the real world market. I invested in many stocks, many companies, and the company as of March 21st that has had the most growth for me has been Costco. The frenzy is real and it is happening here at this location. Take a look. This is video from earlier this morning. It was around 930 when people started lining up outside about 30 minutes before the store officially opened. You can see about 200 people in line, half of them saying they're here for toilet paper. Costco has seen growth in their stocks because everyone needs toilet paper, apparently. Um, and the only place to buy that in bulk, Costco. As of March 21st, Costco has had a 2.49% profit for me. That's not really a lot, but these are dark times that we're living in. A couple weeks ago, I bought two shares from Costco for $283.36. As of March 21st, I could sell those same two shares for $580.84. That's $297. 48 cents that I've made off investing in Costco. Costco corporate announcing yesterday those sales are up 12% compared to this time last year. Thanks, Costco. Another stock that has grown a lot for me has been Amazon. My Amazon stock has grown 0.32%. Um, I bought one share for $1,840.13. As of March 21st, I could sell that same share for $1,846.09, which is exactly $6. So thank you, Amazon, for $6. You the best. Now let's talk about my losses. What companies that I invested in have cost me the most money? The company that I invested in that has lost the most has been the Boeing company. Boeing Company has seen a 53.5% loss since I invested in their company. I bought one share from Boeing for $204.32. As of March 21st, that same share is worth $95. I've lost $109.30 from investing in Boeing. The second company that has lost a lot, surprisingly, has been Google. You'd think, now that everyone's locked inside, they just Google things. But no, my Google share has lost $69. I bought one share from Google for $1,141.32, and as of March 21st, could trade it away for $1,072.32. That's a 6.05% loss in profit. Now let's talk about what stock I'm most excited to watch. The stock I'm most excited to watch is Vertex Pharmacies. Why? Because it's a pharmacy and we're in the middle of a global pandemic. I invested in a couple pharmacies and Vertex Pharmacy is the only one that's had any growth at all, so. <laughs> Vertex Pharmacies has grown 0.37%, which is about 75 cents of profit for me. Not yet a dollar, but we're getting there. I'm most worried about Delta. Delta Airlines stock has dropped 50.69% since I invested in it. That means I lost $21.95. I'm actually most worried about Delta because my lovely stepdad Eric works for Delta and if their stock drops. In conclusion, 
my stocks aren't doing too hot. Hopefully, I'd like to see some growth. Um, I'd like to see um, that I actually gain money from investing instead of watching all my money slowly go down. But I don't think I'm going to trade any of my stocks away anytime soon. That wouldn't be very smart, um, especially when they're so low. Um, I think I'm just gonna wait for all the biotech companies and pharmacies I invested in to, to skyrocket. Now I know this plan is foolproof. Um, I'll keep you updated. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye now.